Hi guys, this is Kelly and I'm going to do a two-part video on the hair and makeup for the Victoria's Secret 2011 fashion show. Woo! Okay, I am so excited for the Victoria's Secret fashion show because I am obsessed with the Victoria's Secret. That is one thing that you need to know about me. I am totally obsessed. Like, my dream in my life is to become a Victoria's Secret model and I... I don't know. I want to try out for it, but I'm probably like scared to. Okay, because I'm probably not going to make it, but whatever. This video is the inspired makeup for it, and the second part will be a link at the end of the video for the hair for, this is not the hair, um, for the Victoria's Secret 2011 fashion show. Yeah, let's get started. So I already did the makeup, so this is the makeup. It's focused on contoured face, um, bringing out natural features, uh, highlight, um, natural looking blush, uh, nude lip with pale uh, pink coral lip gloss, and on the eyes, no eyeshadow. I know, none. Um, it focuses on um, highlighting the inner corners and lots of eyeliner and lashes. They did, they wanted to, their goal was when they're walking down the runway, all they want you to see is their highlighted features and their eyeliner and lashes, and that's it. So we're going to get started on it. I already filmed this video before, hence the makeup, so I already put on the makeup, but I will explain, go through step by step on how to apply it, um, even though I already did apply it. Okay, so the first of all is uh, they wanted flawless face, so they started out with tinted moisturizer. They used all Victoria's Secret brand makeup for the fashion show, uh, but they wanted enhanced natural features, not um, a heavy foundation. I will link the video in the down bar for them talking about the makeup and hair, so you can reference it, go back to it, whatever. So, um... I'm going to do, um, I have really bad under eye, um, that's basically all, like, the problems with my, um, complexion, and I really don't need foundation because I really have a flawless base, um, to begin with. So I put, um, Boing Concealer, um, in shade O2 under my eyes, and I used my middle finger and ring finger to apply that. Then I set my whole face, even though I don't have foundation, I have a very oily skin tone. And I will talk about that in my skincare video, but that's for a later video. I used um, Milani's face powder. This is a multitasker face powder. It's for setting, finishing, and blotting. So it's good to blot um, the excess oils that I have on my face. So I took this. It's in 04 light tan. I took this. Never hurts to apply more took um, the fluffy brush, patted it in, tapped it off, and went over my T-zone, nose, cheeks, and then everywhere else that I usually get oily. So I applied that. Once I applied that, we do contour. Um, I used Hula Bronzer. They used uh, the Victoria's Secret Glimmer Bronzer for this. They focused it on, you take it, Focus it on um, uh, your cheekbone and um, shade it upwards and downwards. So all in this like general area was the bronzer. And they didn't focus it that much on the temples. They focused it more on the jawline. So put it on your jawline. Blush on their face. So I'm going to, I found the best one that works for this tutorial is uh, the NARS Orgasm Blush. And it just looks like this. It's a corally pink with gold shimmer and the shimmer is what we're looking for in this blush. So angled um, fluffy brush, this is from Coastal Scents. Dipped it in and focused it not on the apples of the cheeks because the next step that we're going to do, um, the highlighter step, is for that. So, um, 
you put it um, below where the cheekbones lay, almost like right above your contour color. And so I put it on here, blended it backwards. Next was highlight. They used a pigment, a gold vanilla pigment for their highlight. I didn't have that, so I used this L'Oreal Studio Secrets in Forest Smokes um, quad, eyeshadow quad. I used this vanilla color and a gold color. I mixed it with this travel um, uh, makeup brush from Lancome. I just dipped it in both of those colors, tapped it lightly on the apples of your cheeks and focus it on this part, your temple area, to get that um, that glowy effect. And I applied that. Moving on to the eyes. Our main focus was a lot of eyeliner and lashes. I used Lorax Front of the Line Pro um, Liquid Liner. This is can it's available at Sephora, but any liquid liner will do. And I just applied it. Um, all along the top lash line and you don't want too thick of a line and you don't want too thin of a line so it's like in the middle but you want it to pop you want your eye eyes to pop with this eyeliner now for some of the girls their eye shapes they didn't need bottom eyeliner and I don't think they did use bottom liner um my eye shape is very like I have large almond shaped eyes. I had to put um, bottom eyeliner on with Maybelline's Define a Line uh, eyeliner in soft black. I put it on the the outer corner of my eye, probably the outer white part of your eye. That's where I put it on. So to stop, I stopped where my eyeball starts. So that's what I did. Now for the mascara. They used the Victoria's Secret Triple Action um, Mascara and that's supposed to give off three, the three coat mascara look. So what I did was I used two different types of mascara. First, start out with the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara. I took it and what they did, the way that they applied this was very important to um, the makeup artist for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. They put it, instead of putting it at the base, wiggling it as you go up, you put it at the base, wiggle, then let go. Put it at the base, wiggle, then let go. And they did that all throughout the top of the lashes and that caused it to kind of like clump and it gets stuck at the bottom of the base of your lashes. So it made it look like you had the voluminous, like you had tons of lashes on, false lash effect. They did that and they did it all across the eyeballs. And I did it with the Benefit Bad Gal Lash because it has a lot of volume and the brush is like humongous. So it's good for this. I used CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara and I used this just to comb through my lashes and just to get the the rest of the lashes that didn't um from the middle of the lashes all the way up to the end so it looks like it's um very voluminous and it's bam in your face ton of eyeliner and lashes okay that is oh not it for the eyes they focused on highlighting the eyes mostly in the inner corner they didn't do like they didn't really go like concentrate on the brow bone they just tidied up um the model's um eyebrows so they used the same gold vanilla pigment that they used on the highlight in their inner corner so i just took uh the gold color just just the gold color i didn't um mean to take the vanilla color i took the eyeshadow brush and popped it in the inner corners and that's what I did for the eyes. The lips, they wanted the classic Victoria's Secret plump lips. What they do for their lips, they put lip balm on, they moisturize the lips with a lot of lip balm. That was um, their trick to getting um, the luscious um, pouty lips that they usually do. So 
I put the lip balm on. They used Victoria's Secret lipstick in Whisper. It's a nudie with um, pink undertones to it. I didn't have that color, obviously. So I used the Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick in Pearly Pink. Just a pink, a nude, a uh, frosty color. Now my skin tone does not work with frosty colors. It works with more like shimmer matte, but frosty colors, it just looks like, it's like dead to me. Like I look like I'm like a snow queen in like winter wonderland. So um, I put this on my lips. It didn't look pretty. Okay, um, that's what's giving my lips like that that shine on it. So to cancel like most of the frostiness out, and what they did for the Victoria's Secret models is they used a corally pink color for their lip gloss, and they applied it all over, one coat all over, and then they applied it just in the middle of the lips. Our second coat, um, that gave the plumpness effect. I'm using Lancome's um, Color Fever Gloss in Blazing Pink. So I already put a coat of lip gloss on, so I'm gonna do the second coat. They only pop that in the middle. Gives your lips like the dimension that it needs for those highlights, um, the high like studio lights and it makes your face not washed out. So that is, this is a complete uh, makeup look for the Victoria's Secret models of the 2011 fashion show. And stay tuned for part two for this video that you'll get the Victoria's Secret hair, hair that I do. This is not the hair, this is just my natural hair. So um, I will be doing the classic Victoria's Secret curls. So have a wonderful day and stay tuned for that video. I will have all the links in the down bar uh, for the products I used and the website and where the video is that I got the inspiration from and all the information uh, from. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later and have a wonderful day. Bye. So we did. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Oh gosh. Um. I'm just getting so excited talking about this. It's getting like hot. Okay, anyways, I used CoverGirl um, Lash Blast Mascara. I forgot the name for a moment. Just the gold color. I didn't um, mean to take the vanilla color. And I took it with the eyeshadow brush. Woo! It dropped.